Blockchain is one of the best fields for developers to start their careers in the tech industry. The entire space is positioned for insane growth in the 2020s, but if you want to capitalize on this growth and switch your career into the blockchain industry, then you need to be strategic in how you go about it. And in this video, I'm going to show you one of the best ways to land a highly paid Web 3.0 job in 2023. I'm going to break this down step by step and show you exactly what to do as a blockchain developer myself who's helped lots of other people switch their careers and break in the industry. So if you're around here, hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's what you're interested in, then smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to become a blockchain master, step by step, start to finish, do everything I'm talking about in this video, then head on over to adaptuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. All right, so let's talk about one of the best ways to land your first blockchain developer job in 2023. And this is a strategy that often gets overlooked. So one of the reasons I'm making this video is I spend a lot of time with other people who are trying to break into the blockchain industry, helping them do this. And I just got a message last week from one of my followers who got their first junior developer role using the exact strategy that I've taught to other people. And I want to share it with you in this video today because it just works. And one of the reasons I want to break down and demystify this strategy in this video is also because lots of people are doing this the wrong way. Okay, a lot of people are going to job posting websites like Indeed.com or just using Google and searching for just like blockchain developer and maybe finding a post or two that they feel remotely qualified for and then just applying and they never hear back. So... This strategy of finding jobs this way actually does work. You can just, you need to up the numbers a little bit when you're applying and do some follow-up that most people aren't doing. I'm gonna make a separate video on that. So if you're interested, definitely smash the like button down below, subscribe to this channel and leave a comment down below if you want me to actually make a video like that. But what I wanna do is talk about how to just do something completely different from this, which is exactly what this other follower did uh, who landed their first junior role. And that's instead of using something like, you know, Indeed.com or some other job website to look for jobs, is actually having the jobs come to you, okay? And so what this looks like is leveraging social media platforms to create content and then having job opportunities come your way, specifically on sites like LinkedIn.com, because that's exactly what this follower use is what I've had lots of other people have success with. And that's exactly what I break down this video. All right. So first of all, let me explain how this works, or maybe I should say why it works before I explain how to do the process step by step. So, you know, LinkedIn specifically is a massive social network, uh, specifically for finding jobs and placing people into jobs. That's really what it's about at the end of the day. And there's lots of people who have paid a lot of money to use LinkedIn to find people just like you who are on the platform who are looking for jobs. And so why is this good for you, especially if you're a new, a new developer? Okay, this strategy is good for everybody, but especially new developers, because you kind of have limited options when you're a new developer. When you're applying on big websites like Indeed.com, you're competing with other people that have more experience than you. Same way for like, if you're trying to get a third party recruiter, who's like a headhunter looking for talent, a lot of times they want to place people who are much more senior than you because they can get a higher commission on, you know, placing someone in that role with a higher salary. And a lot of times you won't see entry level job positions on these big job boards. You will see them, okay? But you're going to see way more senior roles because people are paying to advertise for those roles essentially on these websites. But on LinkedIn, essentially what you can do is you can have companies uh, hiring managers or in-house recruiters who are on these websites that are actually looking for all different types of skill levels. And it's a lot cheaper for them to just find them on websites like LinkedIn, especially if you're essentially paying to advertise yourself in this case and not putting that expense upon the employer. And when I say pay here, I really mean paying with your time because this is a little more time consuming than just, you know, applying for a job and waiting to hear back, but it can be very effective. So let me show you how it works. All right, so let's talk about the prerequisites that you need to do this strategy. So number one, obviously, is a LinkedIn profile. You want to essentially optimize this profile. I've got a previous video talking about how to get a blockchain developer job with LinkedIn that'll walk you through those optimizations. So you can definitely check out that video. And then once you've got that, you also need some projects that you've done so that you can put them out there in the wild and put them into a portfolio project. Okay, basically you want a separate portfolio website that acts like your resume. All right, so I can just show you an example of that right here. This is actually one of my students, Gerardo, who's got his portfolio. Okay, and you can see it's got his projects on here. You can click through and use them on a blockchain. You can see this course code with your GitHub. You definitely want to GitHub before you do this. Here's a good example of a real-world portfolio if you want to model something. But then LinkedIn is going to be your marketing platform to essentially get discovered. Okay, so once you've got your project, once you've got your portfolio, you've got a resume ready to go, then you want to update your LinkedIn profile to optimize it, essentially to mirror your resume and portfolio, but then start posting content on a regular cadence, okay? And once other people find this content, okay, then essentially they can find you, and if they know that you're for hire, 
you'll have people start reaching out to you on LinkedIn and you can start going through interviews and eventually get that job. Okay, so this really comes from two ways. All right, one way is essentially you're posting content out there and then people are finding this content and they're coming directly to you. Or number two, people are using LinkedIn search features to look for keywords in people's profiles and then they're finding your profile and then they see if you're just posting any type of content, okay, then your profile's active. And if, you're, if your content essentially says what you're doing right now and they're actively looking for roles, that's gonna be a pretty good indication that they wanna reach out to you. So it's twofold, basically people finding your content and then people finding you through search. And then both of these things can come together to essentially get connection requests on LinkedIn, uh, messages from recruiters or other hiring managers or companies or other people who can facilitate the hiring process in some ways. That's basically what it is, getting yourself out there and they come through these two channels to start hiring. All right, so let's talk about the wrong way to do this and the right way to do this. So one of the reasons people think this doesn't work is because they get on LinkedIn and they just say, you know, hey, I'm looking for a job. <laughs> okay, I'm a developer. Here's what I can do. Does anybody want to hire me? That might work, okay, but it's, let me show you how to increase your likelihood of success. Instead, what you want to do is actually provide some type of value on social media and catch people's attention. And then once you do this, you can let them know that you're looking for a job or that you're, you know, building in public or something like that. And then you're going to start getting messages about this thing or maybe comments on your post that could lead to these hiring conversations. All right. So let's take a look at this. Basically, good content gets attention, adds value, educates and promotes you. All right, so let's look at some content ideas. So this could be edu you know, technical education or maybe even just technology education. Okay, so I'm gonna differentiate between these ones like teaching about actual coding and then maybe another one just talking about the technology and you know how that's important and then you know promoting yourself as a developer. And you might just say, you know, give me an example, just show me what to do. Okay, so I can do that. So again, you know, you can go to my followers profile page here who just did this recently with a testimonial pinned to their page and you can just see like what were they posting, okay? So this was just talking about going through the damn vulnerable DeFi challenges and writing a tweet thread on, you know, how they went through this and what it did. And you can kind of see some updates of explaining that code with some good screenshots. It's educational, it's informative, and it clearly, you know, says what this person's doing and, and promotes them. So you could do this with any project that you're creating for your portfolio. You can talk about something that you learned inside of it, maybe some aspect of solidity that you learned in the process. And then you can document it, give a code screenshot, or maybe even a video and explain exactly what it does, because that's going to provide value to somebody out there. And then you basically say, I did this for my portfolio Here's a link to my portfolio. I'm currently looking for open roles, you know, DM for contact, okay? That gets people's attention. It educates them, so it gives them some value. And for those people who are looking to hire and they're interested in you, it leaves the door open for contact. All right, so that's one way you can do it is like teach coding examples. And that kind of goes where I talk about technical education. But let's talk about technology education and maybe like current events and how, you know, this might capture the attention of more people who are just generally interested in blockchain and Web 3.0 who could find you as a developer. Okay, so you can take any current event that's happening in crypto and talk about it in a LinkedIn post in a way that adds value and talk about what you're creating. Uh, and you can plug your portfolio and that you're looking for open roles. This can actually catch a lot more attention. And guess what? You can also use chat GPT to help you write these posts. So I'm gonna write a post with you right now just to, I'm gonna literally make this up on the spot and let's see how it goes. So essentially, let's say that we want to talk about a current event like Silicon Valley Bank. Everybody in the world's talking about right this, this part now, so you can get a lot of mileage on LinkedIn or something like this. So you have to understand with ChatGPT, it doesn't understand events, I think, before 2021. So we have to teach it about the Silicon Valley thing. But I just Googled Silicon Valley Bank crypto. OK, so I'm just going to, uh, you know, could Silicon Valley Bank crisis in crypto winter? So that's a good headline. All right. And so what we're going to do is go ahead and build out an example post here. And we're gonna like maybe paraphrase this. Uh, we could say, you know, could you know Silicon Valley Bank be the end of crypto winter? Something like that, right? You don't want to necessarily rip it off word for word, uh, but it's a LinkedIn post. It's really not that big a deal. You're not like a big media company who's plagiarizing someone else's work. This is really just an introductory line to get uh, some attention here. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take all this information, all right? You're going to copy and paste it. Uh, into chat GPT. All right. And so I basically I got into chat GPT and said, can you write a short post for LinkedIn summarizing this article? And I just copied and pasted the article and put it into chat GPT. And so it gave me a pretty good starting point. Uh, but let's say, 
uh, can you redo this post beginning with the following line? And so we're gonna add our hook, okay, that we paraphrased from earlier and put it in here. And then please make the uh, post uh, shorter with single line sentences. And so basically I took all this and used our initial headline and then took our, you know, um, formatted summary, all right, of everything and put it in here kind of line by line. And so once I summarize that, I want to kind of transition this into, you know, what I'm doing right now and how this is good for the blockchain industry. And then basically you can just add on to the end of the post something like, you know, building decentralized financial technologies. One of the main reasons I want to break into the web 3.0 industry as a developer. See what you're saying there. You're not saying, hey, I'm trying to get a job. You're just saying like why this is interesting connecting to your intent and you can say like i'll be shipping more updates to my decentralized exchange ap application this week on my portfolio site here and then you can put in your portfolio site that they can link to all right and that's it that's it there's no like there's no hard ask in the post that's like you know hire me but it's it's getting their attention on a really big topic and sort of summarizing what's there and why this is good for the crypto industry and how that's igniting your passion to meet your goal but you're clearly stating what your current state is and what your desired state is and what you're and that you're actively working to do that and you have a portfolio site that proves what you can already do and they can see the proof right there on your LinkedIn. And you can do all this in under a minute just by like looking up current events, getting the articles, putting in the chat GPT, creating a post with some sort of call to action. And so once you do this, you know, you're gonna have lots of different ideas to draw from. You can just look at what's happening in the news with crypto and blockchain. You can talk about projects that you're building and actually post code samples, okay? But every time you want to talk about what your state is, what your desired state is, and how they can learn more about you with your portfolio, et cetera, et cetera. But you want to still add that value and not just say, hey, I'm looking for a job, somebody hire me, because that's might not work. It might work, but probably not. All right, so that's an example of actually how to create the content that works. Those are some examples. It's a step-by-step -step walkthrough. But one question I get all the time is like, how often should I do this? So, I mean, I wouldn't post more than once a day on LinkedIn. And honestly, once a day is probably a, a little much for somebody who's just trying to figure this out and get started. Uh, so you can start something like three to five times per week. But what you really want to do is just focus on consistency, okay? And then probably also complement this with other strategies for looking for a job. But this is a way that most people aren't doing. And if they are doing, they're not doing it right. And so I hope this video, you've seen exactly how to do this and apply it to your situation. So I hope you like this video. You know, as always, smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. That really helps these videos out so more people learn about blockchain. And if you want to do everything I'm talking about in this video today, then of course you need the skills to pay the bills. So how can you do that? Well, you can go to my YouTube homepage. You can find those free courses there. They're like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. And if you like those videos and you went to the next step or hey, maybe you'll take a master's shortcut entirely, I should become a blockchain master step-by-step -step start to finish over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You don't have to be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real-world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.